So we're going to look through all of the existing like Roman numeral text files. Um, chord progressions, a uh, length two chord pro progressions in that dictionary there, where um, I believe I sourced the text from uh, uh, Monteverdi. And as you can see, I appropriately misspelled the word misspellings. And it turns out that this is something that Scott Joplin likes to do a lot in writing. Your experience might just be noticing sequences like that sooner. Here are some of these, why do these things happen on the clarinet? Well, this is the uh, simple diagram of like the tone holes and the keys on the clarinet. You have to play this B with your left hand, which means you have to play the C with your right hand, which means now you would have to play E with your left hand, which is impossible. It adds a little X underneath this E flat to say, hey, composer, like, FYI, this might be a little bit annoying to play, so if this is in really fast passage, you might want to reconsider. Okay, so I worked on a composition project. And so I started to implement a few things. So one thing is I limited the range of the bass notes, so that way we don't have these great jumps. So the possibility of that happening is random. I try to identify incorrect pitches when we transcribe music. Then we could be able to mark that as a potentially incorrect note because it's not a note that's correctly, like, often found in that given key. So then the new idea is like, what if we, instead of finding the single best key, we find the best keys that are all within 0.05 of the correlation of the best one. Presenting our music recommender. Classical music or folk music. We had also tested a more robust, if more ambitious, idea in using deep learning. The idea was to do this on classical music, but then we realized pieces with many parts and many voices is kind of hard. A jazz toolkit. One program in particular, which would take a lead sheet and create an automatic backing track from it. Oh, there's not much background to go into. Uh, yeah, because you, you guys are all familiar with this. And then the bass becomes a passing tone onto the B. On the built-in functionality score of Music 21, which is over here, So our project is on piano fingering. Uh, two, a two octave scale alone has 186 quintillion possibilities. And we need to reduce this to one. The first thing we need to do is split it up into those monotonic chunks that Claire talked about. Increasing chunk here and our decreasing chunk. So the best one is 315 and then 215 and 415 are tied. Our algorithm produced pretty good results, which is very reassuring to see. 